Welcome to Fishing Squad. Merry Christmas, it's Christmas Day. So I'll do a quick video with some of the best catches and like a couple of moments, nothing too um, OTT, just a small couple of sections of video what I've put together of some best catches this year. Um, got one of my Christmas presents here, we'll have a bit of a taste of this. It's, uh, it's a Guinness gift set, obviously. Um, one of them is Foreign Extra Stout. I don't know what, I'm not really an expert on the varieties of Guinness. I know the original, I think it's that one in the glass bottle, which should taste quite burnt, I'd imagine. But we'll start off with this Foreign Extra Stout. 7.5%. What time are we on now? What time do you make it? Um, it's quarter to 11, isn't it? It's not it's quarter to 11. I've, it's Christmas Day, I've had chocolate for breakfast. Might as well, might as well crack a beer up there. <laughs> so yeah, I've, I've put a video together. It's been relatively successful this year, obviously. We've done fantastically well on the balloons. Done well uh, on your presents too. Done well on my presents. I've got some clothes. I've also got a fishing rod, didn't I? At the back end of the... Oh, about a month ago. That was part of my Christmas present. A new phone. I've had a new phone. Mix are starting to put the starters, starters on. Got a bag full of grippers. My Guinness gift set. What more could a guy want for Christmas? A couple of pairs of trainers. <laughs> so yeah, well, we'll, we'll, a bit of laid back kind of video. This um, we'll get to the highlights. Oh, they're both in bottles. I thought one more can. Don't forget your wellies and your fishing rod, Alder. Oh yeah, I've, I've had some new wellies as well. Um, I've got a Daiwa Sandstorm. I don't know if you can see it. You can just see it there. The stuff on my shoulder there. Daiwa Sandstorm. Uh, Rod, rod hold up, which will obviously be pretty good for fishing on fishing with on some marks, you know, to get all the gear down. Especially when me and Jay are there, it will. Um, so yeah, so they're both in bottles these. One seven and a half percent, the foreign extra stout. I'm no expert with Guinness. I do like I do like Guinness, you know, on draft, I love it. Um, we've got extra stout here, which is 4.2. We'll, we'll, hit, we'll hit the hard stuff early. <laughs> Can you get me a bottle open to someone, please? I mean, there's been many highlights this year. I'll just get a glass a bit of a clean. Um, many highlights this year. Um, with the fishing, not just the fishing, obviously. Got married and all that, and met a lot of friends this year, especially Paul and his family. Give him a mention, um, one of my subscribers, Paul. Um, did a bit of fishing with him and stuff and we spent a bit of time with him when we were in there um, in the summer. It's just something that a YouTube channel's given me, a bit more of a social aspect of things. It's good when people have got the same interests as you as well, you can really sort of find a level with people. Because fishing isn't always everybody's cup of tea, is it? I don't know why. <laughs> so yeah, that's the old... Uh, We'll do a bit of a review of it if you want. Let's get a review on. Keep 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 everybody waiting in anticipation for the clips that we're gonna put on in a bit. Yeah, um yeah, there's been a few highlights like I say, um with the fishing Nick's just gonna have a sample. It's strong I think. It'll be really burnt, so you'll not like it probably. It'll have plenty of iron in it though. It'll be good for you. That's quite nice though. Is it? Mm. I do like that. It's really burnt, isn't it? It's nice though. Proper burn. So a couple of these. Oh, <laughs> strong as well. I'll not be getting wasted though. So I think the top highlight was my eleven pound bull hoss. It was nice to get out at tens, sort of thing. Then in, in this is in I put them together in no particular order. Um and one section might seem a bit odd. The second highlight was catching the rays for the first time. Uh, the third highlight was like the garfish probably, well not my second one I've ever caught surprisingly and then there was a, a rockling in April at a pound and a half and there's a fifth highlight, it's just like a section where I'm fishing in shorts and t-shirt and it's just like when you see all these <coughs> I still got a bit of a cough, might be that um, when you see all the, what the weather's like now and how, how much you have to tug up and you look back at a video of, of yourself when you're fishing in shorts and t-shirt on the rock marks in, in, on a warm day it's like it's just a highlight really from the year there were a couple of sessions that I did I've just sectioned one where I caught a nice a nice horse it was probably just under £10 and it was 
uh, just a lovely day. You know, I, I would in trainers, shorts and t-shirt. And it's just a reminder, isn't it, how nice the weather can be when you can see how bad it is at the minute. So, we have got a trip planned for uh, between Christmas and New Year. Um, our mate Martin's coming with me and Jay. We're going to hit another mark. I'm not going to say where it is. I don't like putting it out there before, before I've gone, if you know what I mean. Um, we're going to have another go. It'll be a bit of a long session, so we're taking quite a bit of equipment with us. You know, a stove and all that type of stuff just to keep us going. Um, uh, and it should be a, a really mammoth session. It should be an epic one. Uh, so I'll put the clip in now, the video, and then I'll just talk a bit about it afterwards. I've mentioned a, a bit of it, obviously. Um, and then we'll say it will... Yeah, I'll, I'll put it in now. This is my custom with us. This one looks like a night we're playing. I'm going to myself. Right guys, so the second one I've ever caught, I've just caught a garfish. He's going to go in for this tote bait, I'm afraid. So the second one I've had off here, the second one in my life, so I'm doing one out to be 40 here. Well, it might be in this trip. That's how you do people off this trip. He's going to make an excellent bait, so we'll get it back. Gone in the side of his mouth, so with that, you get in there as much as you can and just pull it out, and that's the perfect way to unhook him and out to unhook him out. I don't think it's a PB, it's short, but fat. Leg up out the rod rest. All right, mate. It's a nice, nice one, guys. Double look up. We've had a, we've had a double picture as well, by the way. I've got this caught on a thorn. Two flatties. Two flatties. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get them put back. I'll show you. It was release. Oh, it's gone straight down my finger. Man up. I've got a lot of rounds. Just walking down to the water's edge to release. What a way to finish that one, pulley rig this time. All others have been on there. Uh, um, all those have been on flappers. It'll just take a bit of time to go back, Jay. Not in any rush. Right, yeah, so that's that. Um, the raise was a really, ni really nice session. It, um, it doesn't very often go to plan fishing, does it? You can see we've struggled a lot in the last few weeks. Well, I think probably in the last three months, that's probably been the highlight highlight of the one of the big highlights of the year where something went to plan. We prepped it. We just dropped on with the tides. I think we, we, you know, we fished it, fished that Mark Perch rock on perfect tides. And sometimes you don't need to be good. You need to be lucky, don't you? And we were lucky because we only went on a whim, but luckily the tides were correct, sort of thing. Um, yeah, and then I've met. I've I've got a few other friends out there. Not, I'm not. I'm quite antisocial, really, with fellow YouTubers. I'm sorry. I don't mean to come across that way, but I am. I, I don't mean to be. If anyone messages me or wants to meet up for a, a channel meet or whatever, I'm really open to that. You know, I'm. Once I get to know someone, I'm quite a, a pain with, <laughs> with messages and stuff. Probably some of you might have found out. Lincoln, if you give Lincoln's channel a check out, um, for hardwood blades, um. 
his channel's good if you like um, wild camping and bushcraft and all that type of thing is some some of his videos are really deep really really good um i think most people that like that like a bit of fishing and stuff they, they should you know a lot of people like that outdoor sports i suppose you'd call it wouldn't you kind of um and i'm into all that type of thing camping and all that type of stuff i haven't done much camping in the in recent years but it is of interest um so going forward we're going to get this mammoth session out of the way i don't think there'll be any highlights that can top what we've already put together but you never know do you you never know but i thought i'd get this video done and then i'll put another video out from the session that we have midweek and then we'll crack on in 2023 well i'll be putting another video out probably on the first about plants next year because we're doing this species on with Lincoln from Harwood Blades, and uh, it should be it should be really good, sort of uh, should be really entertaining. You know, we'll probably change the format of some of the videos, how they're structured and stuff like that, because they're just thrown together really at the minute. Um, but it is as it is sometimes. It's good one like that. But there might be like structure with it being a species. We might say go into some depth with the rig, rigs that we're using, why we're using it, um, how we're going to go about like just picking up any multi multiple species if you like. Of any size, really. Um, so yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to doing that, um, and we'll take it from there. First impressions with this beer is it's a bit, it's a bit strong. It's nice. It's nice. Let's see if we can get it down as a bit quicker. Yeah, very burnt, very burnt, very alcoholic. But it's like someone's dropped a dropped a shot of Jack Daniels in. Ain't <laughs> no more Guinness. It's Christmas, it won't be getting wasted. So that's the foreign extra stout. Very burnt. Tastes very strong of alcohol, but I think I could do a couple of them, no problem. But I want to see Boxing Day. <laughs> Two and a half units per bottle. I love Guinness, like. I absolutely love it. Well, at least we've got a nice glass that gift set as well. The old harp on. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed it. It should be alright that I reckon. Uh, the original I reckon will just be burnt without that taste like it's had a shot of whiskey dropped in it. it. Says dark and lively. Does it have any other comments on this uh, foreign style? I don't really have any description of its taste which is a bit strange isn't it because Mm. We'll get that drunk as well in a bit. It's Christmas, isn't it? So yeah, I hope everybody's having a, a really good day, um, and uh, we'll uh, get a decent video together for midweek, and then we'll get on with species, on hopefully. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah, just uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. Um, we'll see you later. Thank you.